Let's talk about power stations and who makes the best power stations out there because this is something I've been thinking about a lot. There's lots of power station companies out there and people are buying all kinds of, they're buying Gold Zeros and Fuzzy Bots and Afries and All Powers and Ocatel or whatever they're called and Opuses and Blue Eddies and EcoFlows and Jackeries and Anchor Solixes and there's so many out there that I can't even keep up with them all. There's lots of power stations out there. So how do you choose which one to buy? Do you want the best? Or are you willing to take a chance? And here's my thought on that. First off, I think it's important to consider that if you're buying a power station, you probably want to buy it from a source that you can be fairly certain that you're going to get good service from. So if you're buying them from Amazon, at least you know that typically within 30 days, you can return that if there's something wrong with it. Or maybe it doesn't meet your needs. That's a good option. And I actually had a friend recently that told me he was going to buy his from Costco because Costco allows him to return it even a year later if something goes wrong. And I think that's a valuable thing to consider. When dealing with warranty issues, if you're dealing with companies that are overseas that don't have American offices, you may find yourself in a bit of a communications bind where you send something to them and it takes 24 hours before they get back to you at best. And then there's a bit of a language barrier and they want more information and you end up going back and forth for weeks at a time trying to get your power station sorted out. That can be an issue. And I was thinking about this recently and I decided to look up all of the power stations that I could think of off the top of my head and see how they're performing on Better Business Bureau as well as Trustpilot. And I was kind of surprised. First of all, at the Better Business Bureau, there are power stations that are very well known that don't have great ratings. But I also think that some of that has to do with volume. For example, Blue Eddy, which is one of the better ones when it comes to the Better Business Bureau, sells a lot of power stations. So they're probably going to have a slightly lower number because they're going to have more complaints than say somebody that really doesn't sell very many at all. So I think that's important to consider. Now I will tell you that there are some power stations that are not on the Better Business Bureau. For example, Afri and Dabson. Neither one of those could I find on the Better Business Bureau. No complaints at all. Well, that's a kind of a plus, I think. Though they don't sell as many as, say, EcoFlow or Jackery or Blue Eddy or Anchor Solix, somebody like that. But they do sell quite a bit of power stations, and I personally have had really good success with the AFRI power stations that I've tested. In fact, I've done three of theirs, and two I gave away to help people out. I've got one more now that I've got some more testing and playing around with to do, and who knows, somebody else might find that one in the future, but AFRI didn't have any complaints. When I looked at, say, Jackery, they had a lot of complaints and they weren't rated very well on the Better Business Bureau. In fact, they had an F rating for one Jackery name and then another Jackery had a D plus or D minus rating compared to, say, somebody like Afri that had zero complaints. Or I think Opus had two or three complaints. So that's something to bear in mind. Now, when I went to Trustpilot, I found that Blue Eddy was tops on Trustpilot. Now, I've never tested a Blue Eddy power station. I don't have one. They've actually offered them to me about four different times and never came through and sent them to me. So I haven't had a chance to play with a Blue Eddy yet. But they are tops on both the BBB, unless, of course, you count those that have zero. And I'll put up on the screen here what I found. But on Trustpilot, they also had a good score. So that's interesting. Now, Afri was also up there. And I think, if I remember correctly, Opus and Dabson are doing fine. I didn't see a whole lot of issues with some of the others, like Pecron. The big ones tended to have more complaints. But I'm going to tell you this. If you buy a power station direct from a manufacturer overseas, you may have trouble getting it resolved if you have an issue. Versus if you buy one locally or through Amazon or Costco or Signature Solar that sells Anchor Solix, you may have better success because you're dealing with someone here in the U.S. A great example, by the way, is Commvault. I've had good feedback from people buying Commvault because they do have a U.S. office. They are a Chinese company. They do make their power stations overseas, but they have a U.S. office, and they've been very good at getting back to people and helping them out. 
So I do think that if you're looking for a power station, the first thing you should probably do, besides figuring out what size of power station you need, I think the first thing is probably looking at where am I buying it and what's the support. Go to the Better Business Bureau, go to Trustpilot, check them out there, see what they say. And I will tell you this, I looked up what are the best power stations as well as what are the worst power stations online. And what I found was a bunch of sites rating a few different power stations, but not all of them. And they were really selling them is what they were doing. They had Amazon links, things like that, which are affiliate programs. Hey, we all do it. I do it. Every YouTuber out there that's monetized probably has an affiliate program where they can earn a few bucks if somebody buys a power station off their links. In fact, my links down below, any of those that you click, well, I probably make a few bucks. I might make, you know, five or 10, but it is a way that YouTubers can earn a bit of money. So bear that in mind when you're looking at those lists of who makes the best ones, because that may be because they're earning something from them. Now, if they're like me, they're going to try to be totally honest with you. I am always trying to be honest. I'm going to test power stations and tell you what I think. If I like it when I test it, hey, I'm going to tell you that. But always bear in mind, I'm testing something over a span of weeks maybe even months down the road. I have other videos about that one. But in the end, there are very few power stations that I can tell you that I've had for more than a year that are still there working fine. I do have some. I've got a Jackery that's almost five years old, still works fine, even though that particular Jackery is known to have some issues from time to time. Mine works fine, for what I use it for anyway. I also have Opus, Afri, Allway, all powers, all of those, and believe it or not, I haven't had any issues with those either. And that doesn't really necessarily mean they're the best out there. It just means that I haven't had any issues with them, so they work fine for me. But I've certainly had people say, hey, this one or that one, these are an issue. I will tell you that people that have talked to me about Opus have found that they have been replaced without issue. I found that people with EcoFlow, Anchor Solix, and Blue Eddy, they've all had no problems. With Jackery, I have a friend with two bad Jackeries, and Jackery wasn't going to replace them. Even though they were still under warranty, they just offered a credit of $150 for the, each of the two power stations that were bad if that individual bought another Jackery. Well, I think that's kind of silly. If you produce something and you've got a two or three or five year warranty on it and it fails in that period of time, I think manufacturers should replace the unit. I would understand if they want to prorate it. You got three years out of it and it's a five year warranty, so they're willing to give you 75% of the value or something like that. I don't think that that's uncalled for. I think that's reasonably fair, though I tend to feel that if you say a five year warranty on it, you ought to just replace it if it fails. Stand by your product. That's what I say. So when buying a power station, folks, Take those things into consideration. Definitely take everything with a grain of salt that you see online where people are saying these are the top 10 because when they show you the top 10, they're not showing you the other 50 that they could have tested and maybe didn't. That's why I have not produced a video that says these are the best power stations because I haven't tested them all. I've tested a dozen or so and I could tell you which ones I think are good in that group but I certainly couldn't tell you that any of those is the best out there, especially when I haven't tested an EcoFlow, an Anchor Solix, or a Blue Eddy. So it wouldn't be right for me to do that. Anyway, I hope that helps you out, folks. And I'm going to drop another video right over here for you to check out, just for you. Seriously now. Thanks for watching, and thanks to all my members for supporting the channel. I really appreciate it. Y'all have a great day. The old jarhead out.